Here we go, what we all been waiting for. The prediction video for the 2016 version of the SEC's biggest game, the Iron Bowl, the best rivalry in the nation. Alabama versus Auburn. Nick Saban versus Gus Malzahn. Brett Lashley versus Jeremy Pruitt. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. But seriously, I'm really excited. It's always fun to watch this game. It's always fun to see these two teams get together because they're gonna be tough. They're going to be physical, and they're going to cause a lot of fans to go crazy in the state of Alabama and all over the nation. You know, a lot of people in the nation will be rooting for Alabama to lose, but oh, I was about to give up my prediction. No, I'm kidding. That won't happen. Alabama will win this game, and I'm going to explain why. I'm going to give you a score. So, as I said in my preview, uh, part one and part two throughout this week, Auburn has a great defense. Alabama has a great defense. I talked about how Auburn has a really good defensive line, how their pass rush is amazing with guys like Carl Lawson and uh, Marlon Davis and Montrevious Adams. Their linebackers are much better than in recent years. Deshaun Davis and Trey Williams are much better linebackers than they've had in recent years. The only guy who I can even remember is Chris Frost. So that tells you how much better these guys are that I know two of them. Um, their cornerbacks, Carlton Davis and Josh Hosey. Hosey is playing the best season that he's had at Auburn, one of the best defensive backs in the SEC right now. Playmaker, ending games with interceptions. Alabama, of course, Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harris, and the cornerbacks, Marlon Humphrey, Anthony Avery, Tony Brown, the defensive line, Jonathan Allen, Dalvin Thomason, Ruben Foster. It's amazing. These two defenses will be trying to keep both of these offenses out of the end zone and more than that, antagonize these two offenses and make them quit and give up. Auburn played a really good defensive game against Georgia, even though they lost that game. It was because of their offense, not because of their defense. The defense did not give up a touchdown that whole game. They gave up two field goals, and that was a special team. Auburn, I mean, Alabama, on the other hand, has not given up a touchdown since the Texas A&M game almost a month ago. <laughs> almost a full month ago, I think. So that's the test of these two defenses. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the difference is going to be in the offense. Alabama's offense is relatively healthy, although we are missing Court and Curving. Uh, well, we're not missing them, I should say. They got injured on the offensive line last week, Cam Robinson and Court and Curving, but they have been practicing and they will play, so they might be a little dinged, but they should be all right. They should be good to go. Auburn, on the other hand, Sean White, still has not been determined to be completely healthy for Auburn. So we don't know if he's going to start tomorrow. They might roll out Jeremy Johnson. They might roll out John Franklin III. But he's been dealing with that shoulder injury for almost a month now. He hasn't been getting a lot of practice reps. He's thrown a little bit this week, according to the reports. But it hasn't been established whether or not he'll be healthy enough. And he gives Auburn the best chance to win the game. Cameron Petway, the running back, he will play this week. Once again, there's the issue of... <laughs> His health is not 100%. He, they know he's not 100%, that, that left leg injury. Uh, he hasn't played in the last two or three weeks because trying to recover and trying to get ready for this game because they're going to need him the most, that inside power running game. That's going to uh, basically spread out them out and run the ball right the middle. That'll be their chance. Arvin has run the ball the best on Alabama out of any team in the SEC since in the past few years. No other team has been as successful running the ball on Alabama as Arvin has. And that's kind of funny to think about because you think spread team, you think passing. No, they're a run-based spread team. And their ability to spread you out and run the ball is actually pretty good, which is why they are leading the SEC in rushing, why they're number four nationally in rushing yards per game. That scheme is just amazing. The Auburn offensive line is really, really good. Now, you hear me saying all this, and you're like, well, how in the world are they going to lose? Because the prediction is this, that Sean White is injured. He gives them the best chance to win. And even with Sean White, healthy. I don't think they have. They can't beat Alabama. So if you give Auburn an injured running back and an injured quarterback, no matter how good the offensive line is, they can't beat Alabama without attacking this defense down the field, um, without trying to take advantage of those mismatches. A lot of people like say Alabama secondary is a weakness, or not necessarily a weakness, but it's like a soft spot. But it's not necessarily that it's a soft spot. It's just that that's where you have to attack the Alabama secondary to succeed. 
And Auburn won't be able to do that without a quarterback who is accurate and can place the ball where it needs to be. Sean White's shoulder is shot. I saw it in the Vanderbilt game. I saw it in the Georgia game. He doesn't have the ability to make the throws that he had been able to make from the middle of the season on. Couple that with that the running back is injured. They won't have that powerful inside running game that they've been relying on all year. And Alabama's defense in line with guys like Dalvin Tomlinson, DeBron Payne, and Jonathan Allen. I we're predicting here they will win the line of scrimmage battle here. They will win the line of scrimmage battle. They, I think they are looking to assert their dominance in this rivalry. This is a lot of these guys is their last year playing. They want to go on an iron ball out in their good year. And you can say the same for Auburn. They have some of the same, but they're also a young team. And so a lot of their guys aren't as committed, uh, as uh, ready to go out with a bang as some of the Alabama guys. Jonathan Allen is a senior. Alvin Thomas in the senior. Ruben Foster is a senior. It's going to be a lot to watch. And so the Alabama defensive line, I think, will beat the Auburn's offensive line. That being said, Auburn's offensive line is good enough and really good. They got us Robert Lee, Braden Smith, Austin Golson, Alex Cozen. I do believe they may have success here and there because just, just the way their scheme suits up, they the way they blocked, the, I think Jeff Graham is still their, uh, their offensive line coach. And he does a great job uh, just coaching these guys up. And, they, and they'll probably, I'll say they'll have some success running every now and then. If Cameron Pillway is healthy. That's if he's, if he's healthy. Uh, they might be able to pop a run here and there just because of how the scheme sets up against our defense. But they won't be able to establish that consistently. Also, I believe our pass rushers are really, will be able to take advantage of Auburn's offensive line. Armin has only given up 18 sacks all year, which is one less than Alabama's offensive line has given us. So they've done a really decent job pass block. But this is the best defensive front that Armin's seen all year. And I believe that Tim Williams and Ryan Anderson will win their one-on-one -on -one battles with the right tackle and the left tackle of Armin, respectively. So watch out for Tim Williams on Robert Leaf. Leaf. I believe Tim Williams will take advantage of him with his speed. Armin's uh, offensive line, they're, they're, they're heavy, athletic guys. But... They don't impress me as guys who are overly athletic, guys who can keep up with guys like Tim Williams and Ryan Anderson. So I believe Alabama's defensive line will ultimately win that battle, although Auburn's offensive line may win some, which will allow them to kind of stick around in the game a little bit, maybe move the ball a little bit. But it's Auburn's defense that will ultimately keep them in the game. If Auburn is able to pressure Jalen Hurts and um, basically get in his head a little bit, although he, he stays composed, it's just that aspect of him being young, and Auburn may have to throw out some uh, a trick coverage here and there, and their defensive line is good enough to get some pressure every now and then, even though Alabama's offensive line is much improved. Uh, they may be able to keep Alabama from scoring a lot of points. And it's really tough to score a lot of points on Auburn. It's been an anomaly where we've blown them out, even under Nick Saban. I mean, in 2011 and 2012, we took them to the woodshed. Um, but 2013, of course, was the kick six game. 2014, we won 56-44. 2015, last year, even though Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry had 271 yards, Auburn's defense played well in that game, too. A lot of people don't remember that. The score ended up being 29 to, uh, I believe it was 16 or 15, one of them. But Auburn really played well in that game. And then last year, they were able to do a little bit of the running. Like I said, their offensive line is always pretty good under Jeff Grimes. Uh, and they run the ball really well. And so I see the game kind of shaking up in that same way, although I believe Alabama's offense is more consistent than last year's offense. The one issue is that last year we had a senior quarterback in this game. This year we have a true freshman quarterback in this game. So I can definitely see Alabama scoring some points or being more consistent on offense than last year. But it's kind of hard to see them score a lot of points when this Auburn defense is better than it was last year, even though last year it was pretty good too at least toward the end of the season, after everyone got healthy. So, Alabama's defense, uh, as I'm like going through these matchups here and giving my prediction, Alabama's defense will uh, be able to hold Auburn's offense to, basically, what I'm trying to say is Auburn's offense will have to run the ball to get any type of consistency. Only way they'll be able to do that also is they have a threat of passing the ball. They have a lot of young, talented receivers but they haven't done a lot this year. Their most uh, productive guy, Tony Stevens, has been inconsistent as of late. And without a quarterback to throw them the ball effectively, like I said, Sean White's hurt, 
Jeremy Johnson, I don't have a lot of confidence in to beat Alabama. And John Franklin III cannot throw the ball that well. Not afraid of him at all. All he can do is run. That will uh, allow Alabama to key in on the running game. And I believe that Auburn won't be able to establish a rhythm and they won't be able to get anything going. So with all of that said, I say that Alabama wins this game. Twenty-four to ten. Twenty-four to ten, and I can see it. I I can see it. Alabama wearing Auburn down a little bit and, and scoring maybe a touchdown, another field goal or so. But I'm gonna be conservative here because it's the Iron Bowl. But I don't see Auburn's offense having any 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 ability to consistently move the ball on Alabama. And, and basically threaten Alabama. I believe Alabama will have this game in hand, even if the score doesn't reflect it. Like the LSU game, I had, watching the game, I knew Alabama was going to win. I saw them, had they had the game in hand. They were controlling, but they just couldn't score as much. Auburn's defense is better than LSU's defense, in my opinion. And I say that Alabama will be able to get that two-touchdown victory here but not because of necessarily like just flat out. Uh, we kicked Arvin up and down the field, but just from the simple fact that Arvin doesn't have enough offense to seriously compete here. Not when their guys are not healthy enough. No Petway, no Sean White, no victory for Arvin. Alabama 24, Arvin 10. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me know if you think the score will be higher or lower, or did you think Arvin may pull it out? See you after the game.